Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today I have this Cummins IS6. This engine is from the year 2008. It is on a chassis, on a KW T660 chassis. And this engine was having engine problems about low oil pressure and some other problems like that. So that is what we are going to talk about. Low oil pressure issues on Cummins IS6 engines. As you already know, Cummins IS6 is an engine that suffers a lot uh, of oil pressure issues because Cummins IS6 they use a very low pressure system. Uh, when engine is running, probably the temp I mean the oil pressure is going to go between 35 psi all the way to 40, depending on the year and depending on the condition of the engine. And on minimum, when engine is warm, probably the temp uh, the oil pressure is going to be around like. Uh, 15 psi that is very little compared to the other engines uh, it's been like that all the time Cummins always have have this kind of uh, uh, system this kind of uh, low pressure system uh, but uh, that is the issue because the low pressure can lead to many other problems and that is one of the main problems of these uh, engines the Cummins ISX this specific engine was having that problem, low oil pressure, but it had 1 million miles already. So it's normal to see any major wear, any major uh, uh, problems with the engine because 1 million miles is a lot of miles. So I want to use this engine to demonstrate you how it looks when the bearings are completely wear out. and that is going to be the cause of a low oil pressure so in this case the head is completely out and we have it right there that is the head this is the cylinder head that we have here the cylinder head um, on top you're gonna have the cam bearings and uh, this is the cam where it goes in this case this is an old generation of Cummins ISX so that it has twin cans but if you have uh, the newer generation for 2011 and up you're gonna have a single cam you're just gonna have this one right here and uh, you can see the bearing right here let me clean it so you can see it better this is the bearing see how this one looks this bearing is completely destroyed this kind of gold material is the last material that the bearing is made. So you see this other material that is left over here, this kind of looks like silver. So this material is the protective material that maintains the lubrication of the bearing. But this one is when the bearing is completely destroyed. And you can look at the other bearings right here and all look the same way. See all these, including the other cam over here. You can see the other one, the bearings look the same way, all of them, see? So, uh, this over here could be one of the reasons why the oil pressure drops on Cummins ISX engines. And um, it is very important then if you are having issues with your oil pressure on your Cummins ISX, you pay attention to problems like this because if you don't, you can uh, destroy your engine because uh, that is a major problem with Cummins ISX then over the time the uh, oil just the pressure drops a little and the bearings start wearing this like this start wearing out wearing out until the uh, solid material then is the uh, crankshaft or the crankshaft start making metal to metal contact because the bearing is not actually preventing uh, the uh, friction direct friction to the um, to the crankshaft or camshaft and that will lead uh, to your engine to have a major problem like engine uh, gets like stuck or uh, engine noise and stuff like that so this is what uh, you have to pay attention uh, if you for example if you have a common size six they have uh, probably like 400 500 thousand miles and you start in feel start feeling then your common size six start losing oil pressure and the oil pressure doesn't go more than 30 or maximum 35 and before it used to be 40 so probably you are having wear probably uh, you are having calm where then it's going to be this one or you want to have crankshaft uh main crank main uh, ma main bearing caps or rod caps then could have a lot of wear in this case we have here as well 
the uh, the pistons out. So here we have the bearings of the pistons. You can see how the wear of the of these uh, uh, bearing over here, and pretty much they're all the same way. You have the connecting rod over here. The connecting rod is going to have more wear on the top area right here this one because this is the uh the uh load area when the engine is working and you put a lot of uh energy here when the engine is uh, producing the energy uh burning the fuel it pushes the piston down so when it pushes the piston down this area is the one the top area is the one that makes contact directly with the crankshaft so this bearing is the one that suffer the most because it's the one that is in direct contact with the crankshaft and the other are the same way we have a lot of damage all over the place on those in these ones so uh it's very important that you pay attention to this especially on cummins isx cummins isx engines suffer a lot of uh, wear on the main bearings rod bearings and cam bearings they are going to be those the only problem with those over there the ones over there the cam bearings on the head the only problem with this is then you cannot replace them just like that if your engine is running fine if your engine is running fine with no problems but you are experimenting uh oil, low oil pressure and you remove the cams and you notice then you have um a problem with your uh, bearings your cam bearings over here if you have the tool to actually push the bushing out and bring the other thing in the other bushing in that will be easier uh, and uh, using the good quality bearings are going to be the best way because most of the people they're gonna go for aftermarket bearings and usually aftermarket bearings for coming size sex don't last that long so it's better to install uh, OEM bearings, Cummins certified bearings because this is a big problem for Cummins ISX all the time. In the case of this engine we already know that the engine was already old and needed all that but some of the newer engines can suffer the same problem of low oil pressure and um, it doesn't uh, has to be a specific amount of mileage. Sometimes low mileage coming inside a sex can suffer low oil pressure because of the bearing wear uh, could be a premature wear or it could be something that happened because of the low oil quality or probably sometimes engine is abused or uh, the person that drives the, the engine, I mean the truck is uh, very, I mean like drives the careless or they take more time to do the oil chain intervals. That's the other way you can abuse the engine. But anyway, uh, in this case, the engine is gonna be done. Uh, the engine is already reserved, the block is already done. So uh, the engine is ready for uh, installation of the new bearings, the new cylinder liners and everything. But uh, that is something that is very important. Then uh, you keep on your mind and in case uh, you starting to feel then you have problems with your common size sex, low oil pressure, it doesn't matter what year your common size sex is. Uh, eh, I don't know if this applies to the newer X15 engines, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to be similar science engine technology is pretty the same i don't think the engine is that much different so far i haven't seen one in person but eventually i will but anyway uh, uh this applies to all engines so it's very important that you keep that on mind and uh once you see that as soon as you see low oil pressure going on when you're coming inside at six the best thing to do is replace all the bearings cam bearings uh, main bearings and rod bearings that will be the best because you don't know where the problem is going to be and probably you can replace the rod bearings and later it's going to be the, the top bearings the cam bearings and uh, you won't notice that because uh, you won't think about that but that is a common failure on common side sex but uh, up to right now this is all I'm going to be uh, talking about 
on this uh, topic of low oil pressure. I know there is many things that to talk about on this coming side of sex because it is a problem that goes on and on. It's an endless problem on this uh, specific type of engines. And um, the solutions could be many type of solutions. So probably I'm gonna be adding more videos like this. So you can see other type of problems and you can see ref uh, related to oil pressure. So that way you can get prepared if anything is going to happen to your engine. So something to replace before time will be better so that way you can prevent problems like engine uh, throw a, a connecting rod to a side or engine just got locked. But anyway, uh, if you have any questions about the video, just be sure to contact, uh, I mean, to comment below. Uh, that way you can leave all those questions that probably I didn't mention on this video. Uh, so if you want to support my channel, you can check the description of the video. I have details how to support my channel so I can create content like this for you or uh, for anybody that wants to learn or at least know how something works. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, it's very important. Go to Instagram, follow me there, Francisco Maya YouTube, you can ask me anything directly. Uh, just wait a little if I don't respond directly uh, on time, uh, but I will get to you. So uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and thank you for watching.